So I'm here with my brother Jed, uh, my brother-in-law BJ, and here's my sister Trisha. We are in Meeker, Oklahoma, um, getting ready to run barrels. Do you love me? show you guys how we get ready we've already been up to the entry office to check out where we are in the draw for sure see the order of events took a picture of that on my phone um, I looked at the stakes in the arena got you know basically a game plan down of what I'm gonna do with Taz so while I'm getting ready I'm just running through that in my head um, but now we're just going to braid mains brush saddle I have some brand new tack um, for you guys to check out So Team Smith said, what Utah rodeos? Well, I only have one callback for sure. Vernal, Utah on the 7th in the slack after the performance. Um, some others that I'm planning on going to is Ogden, Salt Lake City. I'm going to a couple in Wyoming. I'll have my schedule posted as soon as I get those callbacks. And what I mean by callbacks is you get to um, call ProCom. This is how you enter a pro rodeo. You call ProCom, you give them your first preference backed by your second preference and then you get to see where they enter you. So you just get to see if you um, entered on what you asked for or if they moved you around. So that's why we can't for sure say where we're gonna be yet. All right, Cotton Candy Halter, is it back in stock yet? Man, that is like a fan favorite and those are so hard to get. That's my they're, <laughs> they're all handmade, but I do have, I think three Cotton Candy Halters with the pink nose bands on. So it's a um, gator skin nose band in pink with some studs and it's, so, so cute. That's usually what Trisha and Train wear, but we just got these new Naughty Halters in. They're the rope nose that I'm like obsessed with, and I've got about 10 different varieties of those that I need to put online. I haven't done that yet. Maybe on the way home from the rodeo. All right, so Carly Girl says, if you could switch to any discipline, what would it be? So I've really wanted to try polo lately. Me too. I don't know a ton about it. I was it. actually looking at it this morning. Pictures. I've never done that. I've done everything else about cutting, raining, road English, done some jumping, but we've never done polo, have I've we? I've never even been to a polo match, so if you know any polo people, send them our way. <clears throat> okay, we got uh, another question. What are your favorite saddle pads? Well, let me show you. So this is what I'm going to be wearing on Tez tonight. And this is available on JanusMink.com. So this one I like just because of the color. And then this other one I'm riding up here is a best ever pad. To follow that question, what is your favorite saddle and saddle brand? So I have a new saddle sponsor that I am not releasing yet because my saddle is being built. But when it is finished, I'm going to be um, promoing it on social media. It's a custom saddle, so everything was just exactly what I wanted. My Gypsy Soul said, what is your favorite breed? Quarter horse. <laughs> and Taz is PYC Paint Your Wagon. Own oh, son. No big deal. What do you think, DJ? Just hanging out. You know, I used to come to these rodeos to ride bulls and get scared and nervous, but uh, <laughs> it's a lot different being on this side of the fence. I get to come and enjoy it and watch these girls compete. It's a lot more fun. DJ is kind of vital for the uh, pre-run pep talk. It really gets my head in the game. What are you doing over here, Trisha? I'm switching my bit because I was riding in this head stall and then I got a new one. Jenna just got these in, so these are my favorite. And so I'm gonna switch and ride in this tech set instead. Um, are these online yet? Not yet, but they will be okay. tonight after the rodeo. So on my set, I'm videoing you, videoing me, bro. What's oh, up? yeah. <laughs> All right, Team Smith is wondering if you will be in Utah for any of the Pioneer Days rodeos. Yep, I will be. My preference is, like, the 23rd back by the 24th, so we'll see if I get a performance or not. I've never entered that rodeo before. I'm excited. Kayla Ross says that she needs that shirt. <laughs> oh, okay. You got some following on the That's leopard shirt. That's my shirt. It is, actually. <laughs> and the truth comes out. <laughs> At Maplewood Farm is asking how tall is Taz? 
You know how many hands he is? Any guesses? Any guesses, anybody? Got the guesses? I'm 5'5", five, five, if that helps you. He's 16'2". Uh, He's a big boy. And trains probably 16 hands. So, we have like a funny, like just joke between us. We're like the 16 hand club, because a lot of bear racers have small horses. So I really want a shirt for myself to wear around that says 16 hand club. <laughs> and wow. only a few of us will get it, but it's like the big horse mafia. The questions are pouring in, holy cow. It's hard to keep up with all you guys. Um, let's see, how many horses do you own is another question. A whole bunch of horses at the house. Sometime we should go through and show them all the horses that we have there because we have a bunch of interesting ones there. How many do you want to own? A thousand? All, all, all of them. All of them. All of the horses <laughs> in the world. Fear the Sorrel says, No question, but can you tell Trisha I love her and she's awesome? Yeah, she's awesome. 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 Yeah, she's Sherry Smink. Oh, Mom. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> hey, Mom. Uh, her question is, what is Trisha's horse's full name? I know him as Train. <laughs> it's Train a-coming. Train a-coming. Yep, Train a-coming. I always put that on my hashtag, so if everyone, if you ever, never know what that means, it's his full registered name, Train a-coming. All right. I'm trying to keep up with all you guys' questions. Uh, how many times do you ride per week? What is your riding schedule like? Every day, yeah. Every I mean, I day. Like to ride every single day, but Taz doesn't necessarily need to be ridden every day, and it depends a lot too on our competition schedule. So, like this week, we just had one rodeo and two jackpots. So I know that I'm going to be competing on him three days out of the week. So I just rode him two of the other days. And actually, the ranch camp was a lot more intense than norm than I normally would ride him. So we did a big trail ride. We worked cattle, which I like to work cattle on him and do stuff outside of the barrel racing pattern because I want a good horse and I want to practice our horsemanship skills and keep him sound like sane and happy so to go out and play with cattle even though he's really big and not probably the best putter or team penner like he still enjoys working a steer and like pins his ears back um, and then it helps me build on my fundamentals so like can I sit him down on his hocks can I get him to cross over and really c controlling his feet which applies to barrel racing but it won't wear him out on the pattern so i like to do all kinds of that stuff um and yeah ranch camp monday tuesday wednesday and two of those days were jackpot so we got a really really great weekend what brand is your head stall and breast collar silly i carry those naughtyhalters.com so i have a bunch of different tack sets on there um and they're from several different makers so it just depends on which set you are looking at specifically but I basically like to have a different look and outfit every time I go in the arena. Um, I want my horse to make a statement, so I'll just I'll use a bunch of them. Have you ever wanted to ride a bull? This may be a, That's a, great question. a question for DJ. DJ, <laughs> DJ, somebody asked me if I ever wanted to ride a bull, and I have, for two weeks I've been going on about the fact that I do. <laughs> I've been telling her that she really shouldn't. She doesn't want to. It's a bucket list thing, and I don't think that I'll die. <laughs> so I want to like bucket list. I want to do it. What do you think, Insta? Should she get on a bull? But DJ, give us a lot of hearts if you think DJ she should get on a bull. Telling me no, but <laughs> if you would like go to his Instagram page and That's say cool. yes, she can. <laughs> if I get enough comments on DJ's last post, I'm going to ride a bull for you guys. And for me. There's a lot of hearts pouring in on that one. Go to his page. Say, if I when I get 50 comments that say. Yes, she can. I'm going to ride a bull. It's a bold promise. <laughs> There's a lot of hearts on that one. I'd be nervous. <laughs> I heard they only had seven uh, bull riders in her tonight, so maybe they have no. one back here for it. That's a good point. <laughs> We're definitely going to start in the practice pen. Good idea. Like, how do you keep his mane not so tangled? So Taz's mane, I honestly pride myself in because it's so big and beautiful and thick. And I have um, an e-course that explains like what my routines and practices are because I could talk for, I think it's like 40, a 40-minute 40 course and it talks about like every product I use and what my daily routine is and how to dye it because it's jet black. But just in short, your horse's mane is a direct reflection of how much care you take of it. 
a lot of it's genetics, but at the end of the day, like Taz's mane wouldn't be this long, except for I take such good care of it all the time. So, if you're really interested in that, check out my e-course. Renee Cowley says, hey, pretty ladies, get after it. Hey, Nay Nay. <laughs> hey, Renee. All right, another question is, Jenna, how do you stay so fit for riding? Donuts, mostly. Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I like to go to the gym and work out. My uh, trainer is out of North Dallas. His name is Justin Stillwell, and I have a picture of him on my Instagram recently. But, um... Yeah, you are fit because of how you eat and the activities that you do. So even though I'm not competing anymore in competition, like bikini competition, I for sure still go to the gym. Like we did that at ranch camp too, just part of our daily practices. And I don't eat super strict anymore. Like I'll still enjoy um, going out to eat or unhealthy food, but it's all in moderation. On that topic, another question from the viewers are, what do you feed your horses, Jenna and Tricia? How do you keep them in shape as well? Um, I feed Taz alfalfa morning and night, and then I have him on total. He really likes that feed, and he's a super picky eater. Buckskin Rocks is wondering what the best bit is to use. Oh, we can go look at our bits. It just kind of depends on what you're doing. I have, I kind of have like a thing for bits, so I've, I've bought almost every bit that they make out there. Sometime I'll show you all my bits in the barn, but DJ and I have got just about one of everything and it just depends on the horse and what you're doing um, I'll show you the bits that we have in the trailer though. Another question is what is DJ's Insta? DJ, what is your Instagram? DJ.Shields DJ .shields. We're gonna walk over here and look at some of the bits We just brought what we're going to run in because um, we don't keep things in the trailer, but these are the two bits that we have and they're pretty similar. This one is Jenna's, it's a cactus bit, and then I've got a different kind of version of the cactus bit. So this is what we like to run in. Get in there close. So you can get a, a smooth mouthpiece, this is a twisted mouthpiece. And uh, I use this to kind of train on train, and now I'm ready to put him into something like this, a more smooth mouthpiece, so that when we're running, I don't accidentally bump his mouth. Um, so I'm going to put him in the same thing that Jenna runs in. I like this bit. All right. Okay, here's a good question. Where do we find out information on Ranch Camp? Ranch Camp. JennaSmink.com under the learn. So go to her website, check it out. Jenna Smith, under the Learn tab, she'll have most of the information about Ranch Camp. Okay, here's a question. Do you do sponsorships? I'm not sure if they're asking if you take on sponsors or if you sponsor people yourself. Can you touch on both sides? Uh, sponsorships, um, coming from the bull riding industry, I learned a lot about sponsors. And the main thing about sponsors is you need to be able to do something for them before they do something for you. So... Uh, in my career, I was fortunate enough to be successful and uh, I was a good public speaker. So I went and did things for my sponsors. Like um, I went to rodeos and we would have these tents set up and we'd have like dinners. And I would stand up and talk about, like, for instance, Wells Fargo was a sponsor of mine. So I would talk about how their bank uh, worked in that region for different companies and also individual uh, loans and financing. Um, and it, in return, uh, me being there as a guest speaker, you know, they helped me down the road financially. Okay, we're getting quite a few questions yeah, since we since we touched on ranch camp. Maybe you can French braid my <laughs> That is a good that is a good main. We're getting quite a few questions about ranch camp. I think it's because we just touched on it, but a lot of people are asking, does it cost any more to bring your own horse to ranch camp? We actually prefer that you bring your own horse and the reason is when you bring your own horse, your horse is probably close to the level in your riding ability. So we can really help you establish the type of relationship that you can take home and learn more, uh, learn with your horse on. Whenever you come and don't bring a horse, um, we have to actually have a horse for you. The horse may or may not be at your ability level. So it really makes it kind of difficult to where you might not be able to learn as much if you don't have the, the right horse. And horses are kind of limited. But uh, 
we'll do anything we can to help help you learn the most that we can. And on that on that point, if they want to bring their own horses, now we're getting a lot of questions. Where is Ranch Camp? Winniewood, Oklahoma. That's right where it's at. It's an hour south of Oklahoma City. That's the biggest airport. And then it's two hours north of Dallas, so you can fly into either one. Say hi to the folks, Taz. Then we got train over there. We are just about to get on. And so I gotta let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So we just got home and I'm reviewing my run with my sister and so I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys so that you know what I'm working on and kind of what I thought. And if you guys had a good look at my run, you'll see some craziness happen on the first barrel. So I was riding him two-handed, trying to get two-handed like close to the barrel because I kind of always go to the horn early. If he feels like he's on the right angle, sometimes I'll go to the horn. And if I do that, he starts to shut down. So in this case, it looked like I was going to hit the first barrel unless I took action. And I can't say that I recommend this, but in my first barrel, I switched hands. <laughs> So I reached up with my left hand to pull him back out and then I was like, hey, I really don't need to go around this without a hand on the horn because he turns really hard. So I put my right hand on the horn. And then on the back side, I was like, yeah, I need to help him finish. So I then switched hands. So I'll replay, replay that for you slow. Um, but that's definitely not something I meant to do. It was just a reaction. It ended up working out because we kept the barrel up and we definitely would have hit it if I continued doing the same thing that I was doing. Um, but we were, we had a beautiful pattern, a little off the pace. He definitely wasn't running, so my thoughts are to kind of open him up, free him up a little bit, push him past the barrels, because he's just getting real ratey. And anything um, up against the fence, he'll just shut down a little bit early on me, so I'm going to try to free him up. If I could get to a track to open him up and breeze him, just real quick, I would definitely do that. But those are my thoughts on my pattern. He did a, a really great job and definitely wants to work for me, so I can't be too mad at him um, about that. And how about my sister? So she kicked my butt and ended up fifth. Unfortunately, they only paid to four, so I wish that she could have gotten her first check at this rodeo, but still outstanding. Only the fourth time that she's ever entered train. So him just doing the pattern um, in a correct manner, any type of, you know, working in that environment is outstanding that was their second performance the others were slack so outstanding time tonight in meeker oklahoma hope you guys enjoyed it so here i go there i dropped to one hand here i realize we're gonna hit it i'm switching going around it oh gotta help him on the back side so i switch right there and yeah <laughs> what just happened do you love me